Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a low poly portrait from a photo. A low poly graphic is a polygon mesh in 3D computer graphics that has a relatively small number of polygons. Open a photo you'd like to use. For the purpose of this video, choose a subject who's looking directly at you. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. We only need to create this effect for half the face since we'll copy the effect and then flip it to the other side to create the entire face. Before we start to make the polygons, let's prepare our document to ensure that we get the fastest and best results. Go to View and if rulers and snap aren't checked, just click on them. Go back to View, Show, and Grid. Go to Edit, Preferences, and Guides, Grids, and Slices. In the Grid section, choose Lines and Pixels. For this example, I'll choose a grid line every 20 pixels with one subdivision. For the color of the grid, I like using 50% gray because it shows up well on most colors and shades. If your color box isn't gray, click it and type in 0, 0, and 50% for its hue, saturation, and brightness, or you can type in 80 three times. Then click OK or press Enter or Return to close the windows. It's always a good idea to make a copy of your original image or convert it into a smart object. For this example, let's just copy it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll start by making polygons on the eyes. Remember, we're only going to work on half of the face and then flip it. For this image, I'll work on the left screen side of her face. Zoom into the eye of your subject by pressing Z on your keyboard to open your zoom tool and dragging over that eye. To reposition it on your canvas, press and hold the space bar as you drag your image. Open your polygonal lasso tool and uncheck anti-alias to keep the polygons from having any transparency along their edges. Before we begin, We'll be making the polygons triangular in shape, and their sizes should correspond to the areas of your image that have specific angles or consistent color and tonal values. Each time you click on a corner of the grid, it'll snap directly on the corner because we have Snap to Grid checked. When you click back onto the original point, you'll see a small circle that lets you know the path is complete. It immediately changes into a selection. Go to Filter, Blur, and Average. The colors of the area inside the selection averages out to a flat color. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. To make another polygon, we're going to make a parallel path over one side of the first polygon by clicking on two corners and then clicking on another corner of the grid. Complete the path by clicking on the first point. To repeat the last filter you used, press Ctrl or Command F and then deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Remember, each polygon is a representation of a color, tone, or angle of your subject. Continue these steps to create polygons all over the sections of the entire eye. If you want to zoom out, press Ctrl or Command and the minus sign a couple of times. Continue to make triangular polygons that conform to specific areas of angle or color and tone.
For this example, I'll just keep the areas around the face extremely simple, so I'm making polygons quite large. If you want your subject to be over a solid flat background, make sure it has space around it so you can ultimately cut it out from its existing background. If you want to create a highlight on the pupil of the eye, zoom into it and make a small triangular pyramid shape in the grid over the darkest area of the pupil. Fill it with white. Since white is my background color, I'll press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Then I'll deselect it and zoom back out. Next, we'll crop the left screen side of the subject. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a selection over the left half of the grid. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy it to its own layer. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to the left middle point of the transform and when you see a horizontal double arrow, drag it across until it snaps to the right side of your document. Then press Enter or Return. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. Click the Clipping Mask icon. This will restrict the Adjustment Layer to effect just the one layer beneath it in the Layers panel. Drag the Input Midtones to the right to darken half the face. This gives the center edge of the face the visual appearance of triangular polygons. To hide the grid, press Ctrl or Command H. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.